In this video I'll show you how to easily key out smoke and water and also track an object to the scene. We'll start with this composition where we see the art of cooking using chopsticks which allows you, I guess, to cook food in a frying pan or pot while keeping your hands in a good distance away from the heat. Anyway, I know this makes you hungry for it and this is why I'll add this text layer on top of it and I wish to integrate it to the shot and make it look as if it's really there. Yep, text floating in mid-air on top of a boiling pot. Okay, so the first thing that we need to do is track the motion of the camera and apply it to the title and make it connect with the movement in the scene. And to do it, I'm going to select the clip over here and then I'll right click on it and from the track and stabilize option, I'll choose track motion. This is going to automatically open the layer panel as well as show me the tracker panel over here. I'm going to click on the tracker, wait for the double headed arrow and then I'll drag the entire group on top of this point and make it a bit more bigger in the search area as well as the feature region. And then I'm going to analyze forward and After Effects is going to analyze the motion and track it to this target. Now I need to apply the motion and my recommended workflow is to go to the layer menu and create a new null object. I'm going to rename this TD for tracking data. And then over here back in the tracker panel, I'll click on edit target Make sure to select this layer that I've just created, click OK, and then click Apply, and then click OK again to apply the tracking data to the null. And now the null is tracked to the scene, which means that we can parent the text to it, and then the text is going to travel with the motion of the pot, actually the camera. Okay, so now it looks connected, but it doesn't look integrated. And to help us with this task, I'm going to select the video and then press Command D, Control D on the Windows side to duplicate it and place it above all the layers. Then I'll go to Effect, Keying and apply the Extract effect. And this can help us to bring back the pixels underneath and only expose the text in the desired places. So I'll start by grabbing this upper square and move it to the right until the text is going to start popping underneath. So in this case, I think I'm going to stop at around 218. And then to make it a bit more softer, I'll grab the lower square and drag it to the opposite position. So something along those lines, around 60 for the black softness is going to give us the desired result. Now, if I'll play it, you can see how nicely the text is integrated into the scene. However, we do have a problem where the chopsticks are above the text. And to solve this, I'll click on the shy icon to reveal few layers that I've prepared ahead of time. And these are duplicates of the same layer with an animated mask that travel along the path of the chopsticks. So I'll enable all three of them, go to the beginning, and then I'll maximize the viewer and preview the result. It's so much fun, so let's do another one. All right, I'll switch to this composition and in this scene, we can see a waterfall and I want to make the title that you can see here climb up with the camera as well as have some splash and drips of water spring on it. So I already took care of the tracking stage. I have a null object. I name it tracking data. And this means that I can parent the title to the null object. And now the title is going to drive up the stream. However, to make it more believable, I'll do the same thing. I'll duplicate the video by pressing Command D, bring this one on top of the other layers, and then I'll apply again the extract effect. Now, as before, I'll start to drag the black point and this is going to reveal the title. So let's say something like this. I'm just going to push it 
all the way almost to the place that I can only see some few drops and then compensate with the black softness by dragging it this time to a very high number. Now the beauty of this effect is that it's not just a simple luma key. It has this option to key out an image based on a range of any one of these channels. So it's always a good idea to check how it looks with different color channels. So by default, it is set to the luminous. I'll switch it to the red. I'm also going to check the green as well as the blue. And I think that in this case, the blue channel is the winner here. So again, I'll go to the beginning, I'll maximize the frame and I'll preview the result. So this is the extract effect, which is very similar to the blend if option in Photoshop. I use this all the time to key out smoke, sand and water, and also to bring back the background texture on top of a composited element such as a text or a logo. If you plan to use it as well, all you need to do is just like this video and the permission is going to be granted. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.